Japan is headed back to nuclear and they are not messing around. Now, before Fukushima, Japan relied on nuclear for more than a third of its electricity. Although the 20,000 death count was the result of the tsunami, not the nuclear plant, public trust in nuclear plummeted after the accident and all of Japan's 54 reactors were shut down. Since then, they've restarted 14 plants, but Japan has relied heavily on coal and oil ever since, virtually all of which is imported. The increased fuel cost due to nuclear shutdown hovers around 3 trillion Japanese yen per year, which is a massive drain on national wealth and on energy independence too. Today, nuclear provides just 6% of Japan's electricity, but the government aims to nearly quadruple that by 2030. Japan restarted two nuclear reactors in 2024 and just approved another, called Tamari No. 3, in April of 2025. This 866 megawatt reactor is expected to restart in 2027, powering nearly 1.5 million Japanese homes. And Japan isn't alone in bringing back reactors from the dead. Utilities in the U.S. have plans to recommission multiple reactors, including Palisades in Michigan, Three Mile Island in Pennsylvania, and hopefully Dwayne Arnold in Iowa. But what's driving this revival? Well, a simplified breakdown is number one, climate commitments. These require massive switches to clean energy. Two, energy security concerns. And three, explosive growth in data centers that demand reliable 24 seven power. And hey, nuclear can provide that. Now, nuclear is hotter than ever, and we expect to see more countries and more reactors join the revival any day now. So go Japan.